hello everybody welcome back so in today's video we will be going through the process of installing google cloud sdk on windows 11 environment so let's get to it okay so what is cloud sdk so i'm going to look it up here cloud sdk and as you can see here basically cloud sdk is a list of tools that include gcloud gsutil and pq command line tools so these are command line tools that will let you interact with google cloud services okay so once you install cloud sdk on your local environment you can basically do anything that you can do in the browser so you can write some scripts that will carry whatever actions that you want to perform in google cloud environment okay so for example if you want to create a compute instance then you can write a command that automatically does that if you want to create a google cloud storage packet you can also do that using the gsutil command or if you want to say interact with google bigquery then you can use this pq command so these are just some of the commands that come with this cloud sdk once you install it and we will go through a few examples on how to use these commands once we have the cloud sdk library installed okay so let's get to the installation process how do you install google cloud sdk on your windows 11 environment so the first thing that i will do is go to my command line interface or command prompt in windows and what i want to do is i want to check if google cloud cli is currently installed so i'm going to check two commands the first one is gcloud so i'm just going to type gcloud and as you can see here gcloud is not recognized that means it's not installed the other one that i'm going to also type is gsutil okay so as you can see also this is currently not installed and the last one that i'm going to check is pq so these three commands are not currently installed so for example gsutil will let you interact with google cloud storage and pq lets you interact with google bigquery and uh, gcloud is for administration purposes okay so let's go ahead and install this sdk and then we will come back and check if now these commands will be able to run all right so i'm going to minimize this and to download and install cloud sdk all you have to do is search for cloud sdk and this is the page that you will see so just click this and get started just click get started so in this next page it is going to guide you or give you the steps on how to install cloud sdk in whichever operating system you're using so for me i'm using windows so i will scroll down here and you will see here installing the latest check cloud cli fashion and um, we do have a number of operating systems here we have linux uh U upantu uh we have red hat fedora CentOS, mac os windows like i said i'm using windows so i'm going to install for windows now there are two steps um or are two ways really of installing uh, cloud sdk in, in windows the first one is either this command so if you want you can just copy this command and uh, open your command prompt then paste this command and run it it's going to install cloud sdk and the other option is to download the google cloud installer so actually i'm going to go with this first step so i'm going to right click here and open new okay so it's going to download here and i'm going to just open it from here so i'm going to double click this and it is going to start my installation process so here i'm not going to check any of these um, boxes here i'm going to click next and i'm going to agree to the license agreement so i'm just going to click agree and here i'm going to install for all users you can install for your user only if you want uh, the process will be the same so i'm just going to install for all users and i will click next okay so 
here it's asking the destination folder where it's going to install i will leave it as default so i'm just going to leave it to install in program files and i will click next okay so these are the components that will be installed so the first one here the google cloud cli core libraries and tools this will include things like gcloud gsutil and pq it will also install bundle python and cloud tools for powershell okay so i'm going to click install all right so this is going to take some time so i'm going to post this video and come back once it is complete okay so it has completed installing so i'm going to click next and here i'm going to uncheck these last two steps and the reason why i'm doing this is because i want to show you how to run this in your command prompt okay so if if you want you can just go ahead and you know leave them checked and run it basically what this will do is once you click finish it's going to start google cloud sdk shell and run chickloud in it and so basically what chickloud in it does is it will let you start configuring connection to your uh, account your google cloud account okay so i'm going to uncheck this and then i will show you how to run it in command prompt okay so i'm going to click finish so nothing will happen okay so once that is done now the next thing that we will now do is connect our local environment to our google cloud accounts so we will use chick cloud in it for that okay so i'm going to go to uh, my command prompt and i will bring it up and now let's see what happens right so Previously, we typed chickloud and it was not recognized. We also tried with gsutil and pq and both of them failed. So let's see if anything is working now. So I'm going to type chickloud and you see, now it's working because at least we don't get the error that says it was not recognized. So that means that chickloud has been installed in our local environment. Okay, so I'm also going to try with gsutil okay that one is also working um at least it's not throwing us the error that we were seeing before so the next one that we will try is pq and as you can see pq is also working we don't see the error that we saw before all right so um let me explain to you how this is possible right how is command prompt apo to recognize those commands the reason is because when we did the installation it automatically added the pin directory in our environmental variables or in our environment variables so if you go to your environment variables you will see that it was automatically added so if you go to path and do edit you will see down here right so you will see down here that it was added right here so you can scroll to the end and you will see that this is the directory where those commands are located and you can copy it here and go to your uh, uh, file explorer and just enter that and you will see that those commands uh, that we were just testing are installed here so you will see pq you will see chickloud and you will also see gsutil so these are the commands that were installed together when we downloaded and installed this sdk okay so that's why um, command prompt is able to recognize them okay so now the next thing that we will do in our co command prompt is to initialize uh, or basically connect to our cloud or to our google cloud account okay so the way to do that if you go to the uh, documentation you will see here that we have the steps on how to do that so the, the, the first thing that we we'll need to do is to do check cloud in it there are some options like no launch browser if you don't want browser to be launched um but for this case i'm just going to uh, do the first one check cloud in it so i'm going to go to my command prompt and i will type check cloud in it and enter okay so what this one is asking me is either to reinitialize uh, this configuration or to create a new one so i'm going to go with first option because i already have a google account so i'm going to press one and um, 
let's see if it's able to connect to my Google Cloud account and it is so it's able to recognize my email and um, I'm just going to use that one so I'm going to press one and here I already have some projects in my Google Cloud account and uh, this is the project that I'm currently using so I'm going to pick that you can create another project for yourself if you know if you want so you can just pick option 2 or option 3 whichever one but for me I'm going to go with the existing uh, project so I'm going to press one and uh, it's asking me to configure default compute region and so on I'm not going to do that so I'm just going to press no and uh, now we should be able uh, to have connected to our account okay so you, you can see now it says your Google Cloud SDK is configured and ready to use. What does that mean? That means that we can now run commands to either create uh, objects or uh, services or to interact with any service in our Google Cloud account. So the first thing that we can do, for example, is we can list our projects uh, using Chicloud. Uh, so I can do, let's say, Chicloud projects list so this will list the projects that I have in my account and uh, we only have one okay so we can confirm the same if I go to my console here uh, we can see that I only have one um, project which is this one here all right okay and then uh, the next thing that we can do is let's see if we can uh, connect to Google Cloud Storage, so GSUtil, so GSUtil LS. So I'm going to list the packets that are currently exist in my Google Cloud Storage. So the command for that is GSUtil and LS. So I'm going to enter, and this should list all of the packets that currently exist in my packet. Okay, so it looks like I only have two. So let me let's go and um, confirm if that's the case. So we will go here and go to Google Cloud Storage and see alright so we only have two packets okay so that one matches and let's uh, go into one of these packets and see what files or objects we have in there so I'm going for example to go to this first one so I will do gsutil uh, and then I will list and the command for that is gs basically or you can just copy uh, just copy this part here okay like that and enter and we should be able to see if there are any files in this um, pocket so looks like we currently have two files so let's confirm if that's the case we don't know that uh, yes, you get tutorials, right? So, yeah, so we do have two files, which is what we see here. Uh, how about the second one here? We can do the same gs util ls, and we check this one here. Do that, okay? So, this will also list the files that we have in this bucket, okay? So, it looks like we have three of them there. Uh, let's go back to that bucket and see if that's the case okay so it looks like we have the same three files there as well okay and now let's see if we can create a packet right so let's see I don't know what the command for that is maybe it's MP GS util uh, let's see I think it's it might be make packet I don't know GS and let's name it uh, CK data take don't know all right that might work oh cool yeah so this is the uh, so that worked so we should be able to have another packet created now um, and we can list the files or the packets that now currently exist after we created that one we should see three including this one okay so there we go so we now 
I've created another packet and um, yeah this is the command for that yes you did if you don't know if you don't know the um, the commands you can just type GS util and I believe question mark should give us the list of the options that we can put for GS util yes so when you when you when you do GS util and question mark it will give you some of the options that you can use um, so MP for example is here and it describes as this is used to make packets so basically create a new packets okay so this is um the process of downloading and installing cloud SDK in your local environment um, you can play with all of these other commands like G cloud there are uh, uh, hundreds of commands I think if you go to the documentation uh, you will see a list of options that come with gcloud the same thing with gsutil and pq for pqueries okay so from here now you can start writing your scripts um, locally and you know if you want to easily create a google compute account I mean a google compute engine um, basically VMs you can do it from here so you don't have to go to browser and you know click and click and click you you can just you know compose a script that will create it for you and automate it okay uh the same thing with your cloud storage objects and even your data data warehouse i think there are a lot of things that you can achieve while using these commands so you can even interact with app engine and even kubernetes engine as well alright so once you have this installed the options are limitless and um, you can do a lot with this alright guys so this is what I wanted to show you in this video I hope this was helpful if you have not subscribed to this channel please subscribe now and uh, please give a thumbs up uh, for this video uh, let me also know in the comment section what you think about these videos and if there's any topic that you want me to cover please do let me know as well okay guys thank you for watching i hope you enjoyed this video until the next time happy coding bye bye